Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's Fountain Pen Showdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my first two gold nibs. The first one is on this pen here. This is a Pilot, it's a Pilot Custom Heritage 92. This is in the transparent black. And that's going head to head with this one. This is a Platinum 3776 Century in the gorgeous Burgoyne colour. Join me down on the mat, we'll take a look at these pens, we'll compare them against each other and we'll give them a rating. So our first pen we're going to look at is this. This is by Pilot and it's a Pilot Custom Heritage 92. It's in the transparent black colour and I love the colour. You know, yes you can see through so you can see your ink there. I don't know if that comes over on the camera. It's got a piston filling system which is quite nice to see. Let's have a look at the pen itself. So we're starting here on the top. We've got a flat cap here, flat finial. There's no curve in at all. This comes down with a slight tapering to the silver band here for the clip. The clip, really nice and springy. Goes easily into your shirt pocket. Lovely clip on this. Look at the cap itself. We continue with a very slight taper. It virtually looks like there's no taper there at all, but I can certainly see it. And we come down to the silver band and on the silver band here. There we've got Pilot. Custom Heritage 92. The cap then comes down and it slightly tapers, but then we've got a step down to the body. You can feel that step down. Personally, I don't like it, but I don't like any step downs on any of these pens. We come into the body. As I say, it's a piston fillet. You can see through that with that transparency. That seems to be all one width. So we come all the way down. We've got another silver band here, and then we're into the blind cap. So this twists. I'm obviously not going to twist it now because I don't want to shoot ink everywhere. And this, but this is there, and that's what drives the filling mechanism. The cap, it comes off in half, one, one and a half, one and three quarter, quarter turns. To me, it's livable, slightly too many. But let's take a look at the nib. Remember, it's the nib which drives the pen. So just look at the nib. This is a gold nib. It's got a silver plating on it. Um, personally, I would have preferred them to left it so I could see the gold colour because I think that looks so much nicer. But it's still, it's a gorgeous nib to write with. It's a medium, but it's so soft. When we come to the writing sample, you'll be able to see that better. So the nib leads into the section. So the section, again, it's transparent. There's at the end here, I don't know if you can, if you can see it on the camera. It's a very small step. It doesn't get in the way. I don't mind that at all. The section then is slightly concave, so it seems to come in and then it goes out again until it reaches the body. We've got the threads then here, and that leads then into the main body. Really is a lovely pen to write with. So I'll fetch in the other pen. So the pen we're looking at here. So this is a Platinum 3776 Century in the Burgoyne colour. Love the colouring of this. I actually much prefer the looks of this to the Pilot Custom Heritage one, to be honest. It looks more classic to me. If we look here, we've got a domed top in that same, it's like a translucent material. That comes down to a gold coloured clip. Again, the clip here is fairly stiff. It's one of those where it's hard to get my fingers under it, but it does slide on and off my pocket quite nicely cap well it tapers down from here until we come to this section here and this gold band just slowly rotate that for you so you can see it so we've got platinum made in japan 3776 century Again, I think this looks nicer. I think the gold colouring looks so much nicer than the colouring on the Pilot. We come down again, a little tiny taper down, and then we've got a step down to the main body. I don't know if it's just psychological. This step down doesn't seem as much as it is on the Pilot, but it's definitely still there. 
The body will that then tapers down. Again, it's not very deep tapering, but you can see it's there. So we get to another little gold ring. And then we've got that plastic end there with the curve on it. Looks so nice, really does. If we open this up, let's have a look at the nib on this. Again, to me, the nib here looks so much nicer than the Pilot nib. It's gold coloured. It looks bigger as well. It's certainly fatter. What I'll do, I'm just going to quickly fetch in the Pilot so you can look at them side by side. I mean, looking at that to me, I really do think that the Platinum nib looks so much nicer. From the nib, again, we come into the section. Here, at the end of the section, there's a deeper step. You can definitely feel that step there. You know, you're aware of it. You can feel it when you're writing. The section doesn't seem to be as big as it is on the Pilot. It's got a slight tapering. It's in the same material as the body. So we've got that lovely Burgoyne color coming all the way through the pen. And then again, we've got a gold ring here and we've got the threads. There seems to be more threads here. So let's just see how, how easy it is to undo. So we go half, one, one and a half, one and three quarters. So it's one and three quarters on both of them. Unscrewing the body here, we reveal the cartridge converter. So the converter does not come with a pen. You have to buy that separately. Personally, I think the amount of money you're spending on these pens, it's just an insult to expect you to spend another 10 to $15 to buy a, a cartridge converter for it. You know, I can buy a $7 pen from China that comes with a cartridge converter. Why can't platinum include it? You know, this pen cost me 200 Australian dollars. It's not as if it's a cheap pen, but they're too tight to put in that cartridge converter. To me, I just think it's wrong. The inside here though, this is metal, means you're not going to be able to eyedropper this pen, even if you wanted to. So let's pop that back together and let's fetch in the trusty roll. So measurements. We'll start with the Pilot, with a cap on 13.6 centimetres. Uncapped, 12.2 centimetres. Posted, posts really nice. And posted comes in at 15.2 centimetres. So, nice size pen. With a 3776, that comes in at about 13.9 centimetres. Let's take the cap off. 11.9 centimetres, posted, 15.4 centimetres. So uncapped, this is a smaller pen. And this is one of the things I don't like about this. Posted, it's fine. Uncapped, it's really, it's just on that borderline of too short for my hand. So again, if you've got large hands, just be aware of that. Let's look at the section widths. So with the Pilot, that comes from 0.98 centimetres to 1.08 centimetres. The section here on the 3776, well, that goes from 1 centimetre to 1.06 centimetres. So the sections width-wise, more or less the same, but length, the Pilot has got that slightly longer section. And personally, I prefer that longer section anyway because of where I position my fingers, like the section on the Pilot. So we'll fetch in the trusty scales of weighing with the Pilot. Well, that comes in at 21 grams. So quite a light pen. The cap, that's eight grams. So the actual pen itself is fairly light and you can have feel that. You can feel how light it is. With the 3776, 25 grams. So a heavier pen. And the cap on this, that's 10 grams. So certainly in the hand, you can feel how much lighter the Pilot is than the Platinum. But now for the important part, our writing sample. So I'll fetch in my paper. This is by Oxford and it's using the Optic paper. So it's a really nice fountain pen friendly paper. So our first pen, we'll be going with the Pilot. The ink I'm using in here is by Van Diemen and it's Van Diemen Azure Kingfisher. I really like this ink. It's a beautiful blue color. Now on the swatch card here in the swatch, you can actually see it's got this gorgeous gold sheen. Now that does come out in the writing, but it's a medium nib. 
So we don't get too much sheen coming through, but you can see it on certain letters. So hopefully that will come out as part of our writing sample. So the pen, so I'm going to write with this posted initially. So this is a pilot. Custom heritage. Can't spell today. 92 in medium. The ink, Van Diemen. Azure, Kingfisher. Our drying times. So we start with the media. Really wetting. Five seconds. 10 seconds. I mean, look how wet it still is. 20 seconds. <laughs> it really doesn't seem to be changing in wetness. 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, well, there's still an awful lot of wetness in there. So I'm finally, what I'm going to do is leave it for one minute. And even after a minute, look, it's still really wet, but it's not just this ink. One of the things I've noticed with this pilot pen is I've had a number of inks in it now, and it really is a wet writer. I've got to be honest, it's beautiful to write with, but just be aware it's very wet. So look at the inks that you're using, especially if you're left-handed. For the final writing sample with this pen, I'm going to write unposted. So here we go, unposted. It's fairly small in the hand, but it's not uncomfortably small. I'm now going to move the mic so you can hear it right. This pen is a joy to write with. It's smooth. It's not like you're writing on glass. There's that bit of feedback there. Really enjoy using this pen. The color, I see in this ink, you can see the shading coming through. If we look at this E, we've got the pale, and then right next to it, we've got a dark one. See, yeah, I don't know if it comes over on the camera. On the bottom of the G and the R, you can see some of that gold sheen coming through. Not sure if it's coming through on any other letters at the moment. In pilot here, you can see the, the Gold coming through looks so nice. Oh, look at that. Hopefully the camera is picking this up. Grumpy now is full of that gold sheen. Pilot Custom is full of it. Lo absolutely gorgeous to write with. And I love the sheen coming through on this paper. So let's look at the other pen. We'll move this up. So the other pen, 3776 by Platinum. The ink in here is by Colorverse and it's Hubble Zoom. I picked this because I thought it would be a nice match for the color of the actual pen. And it does, it looks really, really nice. I like Colorverse inks. They're normally really nice colors. They perform really well in all the pens I've put them in. And the names are brilliant. I mean, Hubble Zoom, what a brilliant name. So let's do our writing sample here. So this is a Platinum. Three seven seven six century. And it's got that medium nib in it. The ink, Colorverse, Hubble, Zoom. Now I'm not sure if you can already hear this. This is a lot louder pen to write with. But when we come to the last part of the writing sample, hopefully that will definitely come over clear. Let's go for a dry time, so immediate. That's already a lot drier than the Van Diemen one. Five seconds. We're nearly dry already. Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. And we're virtually dry there. Thirty seconds. Well, 30 seconds and that's dry. 
it's pointless doing it for a minute because we're already dry at 30 seconds so definitely a lot drier pen and ink combination and i'm not sure if that's down to the combination of the two or if it's the pen or the ink i need to try this with even more inks to really check that out our final writing sample then i'm going to do this unposted so unposted that pen it really is virtually too small i mean yes it's just about sitting there and i do find this is not the most comfortable pen to use unposted but anyway let's do our writing sample i'll reposition the mic So I don't know if you could hear that. That is definitely a louder pen to write with when compared to the Pilot. It's also a stiffer one. The, the, the pen, it feels almost like I'm writing with a pencil rather than with a fountain pen. I mean, the Pilot is so soft and smooth. Whereas this, yes, it's nice to write with. And to be honest, I do like that feedback that it's got. I do like the feel of it. But when you compare the two, it's like chalk and cheese. Now I'm just going to pull this down a bit so we can see the writing from both. These were both Japanese mediums. You know, so we've got a medium here in the Pilot Custom Heritage 92. We've got a medium here in the Platinum 3776 Century. I've done nothing to these nibs. These are as they came. And the Pilot seems to be a lot wider when I'm writing. You know, you can see the difference here between them. It's like the different, completely different sizes. Now, yes, I know that Japanese mediums are meant to be fine. And I see that certainly with the Platinum. But with that Pilot, you know, that just seems like a medium nib I would get from any of my Chinese pens. So it's really quite interesting. Let's move this out of the way, fetch both the pens back, and we'll go through my final thoughts. So here we have today's two pens, the Pilot Custom Heritage 92 and the Platinum 3776 Century. So we'll start with pen looks. I love both of them. They both, yes, they look different from each other, but I love the way they both look. This one with the Pilot, I love that it's more of like an industrial type design. You know, you've got the flat ends. You've got that lovely black transparent color, really nice. The silver actually really does look really good on this black. With the Platinum, I love the classic look. I love this gorgeous colour. And the gold with it, again, really fetches it out. Of the two, well, I couldn't really say which one I prefer over the other. They're just both so nice. So in terms of pen looks, well, I'm going to give them both a 9 out of 10. Writing experience, well, we've just seen that. The Pilot, oh, that's so nice to write with. It's really juicy. It's really nice. The ink, it just looks gorgeous coming out of this nib. Really, really nice. The Platinum, certainly a lot more finer. It's not something you could put any light colours in, but the feedback and the weight rates is really nice. It feels a bit like using a pencil, which is a bit off-putting at times. So for writing experience, I'm going to give the Pilot 9 out of 10. The Platinum, I'm afraid... Best I can do, I, I've got to just give that an 8 out of 10. Ink flow, again, no problems with hard starts, no problems with skipping. You put the nib to paper, the ink comes out. The, plat the Pilot, definitely a lot wetter. The Platinum, again, it writes lovely. It's that bit drier, which in some respects is nice because if you're going to be writing a lot, you don't want to have to keep waiting for the ink to dry before you turn the page. Ink flow, well, both of these, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 as well. Value for money. This is an interesting one. Both of these pens are gold nibs. That means they're both spending. The Pilot, that was 250 Australian dollars. The Platinum 3776 Century was 200 Australian dollars. Both these pens do what they're meant to. They both write. They let me get ideas out of my mind and onto paper. And as I, as I keep saying, what's the whole point of it if not to get things from your mind and onto paper? They are both expensive. 
That's not to say everyone can afford them, you know, because obviously it's a lot of money. I'm going to do some future videos where I'm going to compare these with some pens from China. That's where the value for money will be quite interesting to look at. But comparing these two pens, well, they both come out at an 8 out of 10. You know, they both do what they're there for. They're both really nice writers. They're both really nice pens. So that means my total scores for the Pilot Custom Heritage 92. That comes out at 8 and 3 quarters out of 10. The Platinum 3776 Century. That comes out at 8 and a half out of 10. Both lovely pens. On their own, they are pens to reach for. As I say, I love writing with the Pilot. I love writing with the Platinum. I think they've both got their own niches. You know, for that gorgeous flow, for that wetness, the Pilot really stands out. For that finer writing, for writing lots of pages, well, I think you can't beat that Platinum 3776. So both these pens, highly worth you checking out. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got either of these pens? If you have, please drop a comment below. What do you think of them? Have you got both? How do you rate them? How do they compare to each other? How about the inks? Do you have these inks? Have you used these inks in these types of pens? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Give me a like. The more people that like and comment, well, it helps the YouTube algorithm to surface my content for other people. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.